look at uh, calculating the the regular payments. So the regular payments of an annuity are this, and whether it's present value or, or future value, um, if it's future value, you think of it as the regular payments that you are inputting, so you're putting in, and if it's a present value, think of the regular payments that you're outputting or that you're getting out of the amount of money that you've put in. Okay, but either way, it's one of the things we can work on calculating. Um, so this is the future value, and of course we've given it away, but we'll read this question and talk about it. So uh, Latasha decides to make regular payments every two weeks into uh, an account that has 7.8% annual interest compounded bi-weekly. That's a ton of information. And I think it's Letitia the name, but either mm -hmm. way. Uh, she makes regular payments every two weeks. So if she's making two weeks, this is what's important here. Because it's every two weeks... Um, we kind of have to find out, and they talk about it here, compounded bi-weekly. We have to decide whether it's going to be just a normal bi-weekly or an accelerated bi-weekly. Um, the reason being, if you go two times a month, okay, if there's 12 months, then you're looking at a total of 24 payments. But if you go um, every two weeks, so think of it like you're taking the 52 weeks in a year and dividing it by two, then you're looking at 26 payments. And that's usually known as the accelerated rate. Okay, so maybe we'll kind of calculate both and see how it kind of makes a difference. Um, she wants to have $30,000 in three years. So what do the regular payments need to be? Okay, so we'll highlight what our important information is. This will help us with our I value. This will help us with the N value. And this is the future amount, the $30,000. So future value. Is going to be, they're going to have $30,000. The regular payments are what we're going to calculate. And then it's going to be 1 plus I is, what do we say, 7.8? Yeah. So it's going to be 0 0.078 and divided by. So this is where this comes in. Is it 24 or 26? We'll work with 24 to start, and then maybe we'll try to replace after with 26. So we have to figure that out as a value. Um, then to the power of n. n is the number of years, and they said it was going to be three years. Okay. So n is three years times the compound period, and again, that's where this comes into play. So it's going to be times 24, 324 is one, two, 72. So we're going to be at the power of, of, oops, that should be outside the brackets, 72. And then finally, everything is going to be divided by what we had in green there. Again, that little fraction, 0 0.078 over 2, 4. So, um, there's the minus one. Yeah, the minus one, one at the end. Oh, geez, thanks. You're right. Did I write that on top? I did. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank goodness you guys are here. Okay. Minus one. There you go. Um, okay, so again, if we have a calculator that remember oh. stuff we can do this step by step so let's work with the inside brackets first we have 0 0.078 divide 24 I didn't hit divide divide 24 um, is going to equal we're going to take that value and add 1 to it so now that's the inside bracket we're going to take that and put it to the power of 72 that gives us our new number we take this new number and now we're going to subtract it by 1 Subtract to one, okay? And this is what's gonna give us what's on top, okay? So think of that, um, maybe I'm gonna rewrite it again here. We have 30,000 is equal to R times, I'm gonna just call it our answer in the calculator, okay? Instead of writing it all down, divided by 0 0.07824. Now, algebraically, we need to get R by itself, okay? So what I want to do is I want to, because this is division here, I want to move this to the side and multiply. Okay. Once we do that, we're then going to divide by the answer because it's r times that answer. Okay. So we'll do this in a step so we can do everything in the calculator. But luckily, the calculator memorizes the numbers. So let's do this next step. Let's do um, 0 0.078 divide 24 again, that value. And we're going to multiply this by our 30,000. So there's our new number, 97.5. So now we have 97.5 is equal to R times that old answer we had in the calculator again. And again, to isolate R, because that's multiplied, we want to divide by that answer we had in the calculator. We could have written the decimals, but it's probably faster that we do it this way. 
So we take this 97.5 and we are going to divide by, and I hope this is the right number, I'm pretty sure it is. We're going to divide by that value. And the regular payments are going to be $370.50. R equals $370.50 here. I think by. And that's for 24. If we were to do it for 26, thank goodness this calculator saves stuff, we can kind of manipulate some of the old numbers we used. Um, actually, we will have to change one or two things. Um, we're going to divide by 26, and instead of being 72, um, 3 times 26 is going to give us 78. 78? Yeah. yeah, 78. Okay, so 78 is our only other number. So let's try this again. Um, I'm not going to write it down. Oh, won't it give us a different uh, decimal too? Oh, no. Yeah, well, yeah. our compounding period, you're right, is going to be divided by 26. So we're going to have to do that. Um, let's see if we can input 26 um, while still looking at the original equation. So maybe uh, I can show you how we can kind of do this all in one step again. Let's start over here, then multiply by this number, and then divide by whatever this is going to be. Okay. So when we start over here, we're going to start with 30,000 times brackets that 0 0.078 divided by 26 this time. Okay. So that's our number, which is 90. And it used to be 97 when we did it the other way. So now it's 90, and 90 is going to be divided by whatever this is. So I'm going to get this number and then divide number uh, 90 by it. So we point. 0, 0.78 divide 26, okay, and oh, that one works out really nice. And then we're going to add one to it, okay. So that's what's in the brackets. We got to put it to the power of 78. We said this time, so it's a little larger. And then we subtract by the number one, okay. Oh, uh, I need that, and then that. There you go. There you go. So here's our new value that we need to divide 90 by. So we'll go get our old answer 90. I'm pretty lazy. I could have just typed it in, but uh, there it is. 90. Oh, never mind. 90 divided by our new number here should give us our regular payments, which are $341.94. So an accelerated, um, accelerated by weekly. When it comes to like paying mortgages, that's where you'll also commonly see it. It'll actually pay a mortgage off much quicker. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. It just depends. Are they talking about 24 or, or 26 when they're talking about those payments?